Life is peaceful and simple here in New Market in Southwest Iowa. We met a man who has a special way with words that caught the attention of a very special family in a big city more than 4,200 miles away. In this trailer in the middle of town, there's something going every day. 73 year old Tom Tocullen is creating art with leather. Whatever anybody needs, you know, people call me, Tom, can you sew this? Can you sew that? A skill he learned growing up. It's just the story of my life, you know, I mean, it's what I've done and I've always had to fix everything ourselves. Sewing saddles has evolved into customized items for people. But Tom's creativity doesn't stop with knives. You know, I can speak rhyme better than I can speak conversational English. In fact, some call him the cowboy poet because of what else he creates at his kitchen table. I mean, the thought comes, it goes to words, pen goes to paper, and then out the door it goes. Inspiration for the cowboy's creations comes from everyday life. See, that gift of life is more than money. It's something born under special souls. Or like his leather work, requests from the community. Like in 2021, when England's Prince Philip died, a friend asked Tom to send a poem across the pond. Mostly everything comes from your heart. You know, and when you, when you follow your heart, your brain doesn't have a chance. So he mailed his tribute and figured that was the end of the story until and it's from Windsor Castle. A royal envelope landed on his kitchen table Letter. with fancy words. I, I had to Google everything I got. No one uses a new market. Dear Mr. Kilcullen, the Queen wishes me to write and thank you very much for your kind message of sympathy on the death of Her Majesty's beloved husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, and for the poem you enclosed. He couldn't believe the queen actually wrote to him. Really what I did is I answered a call that was given to me to do something for somebody else. And it's, this is Iowa, this is what you do. So a year later when Queen Elizabeth died, Tom's phone rang again. He calls me again and says, Tom, you really need to put your pen to paper and write something for this girl. Her Royal Highness. Tom's pen went back to work. She was more than a queen to all. She was a mother to a way of life, always ready to answer her call. After the first royal response, Tom didn't expect to hear back again. To his surprise... And I cannot tell you how deeply they are appreciated at this time, at this time of immense sorrow, Charles R. The King. When two letters from royalty land in one small town, it's worth a spot in the New Market Museum. Here's his poem, She'll Be Waiting on Evan Stairs. Lines from Tom's kitchen table that meant the world to the king and the cowboy who just wanted to extend his sympathies.